Um, and like then it. signatures is something else you can just take. <laughs> and that has something, it's got something called variable range, which is, it could be like a Bloodborne trick weapon basically, but it's still ultimately up to you what it looks like and how it works. And you can pretty much freely take it however you want. Did, did you ever play the Star Ocean games? I did not. I know what Star Ocean is, but I've not played any. Oh, okay. So in Star Ocean till the end of time, which is Star Ocean two or three, I don't remember. Um, that's kind of the premise is your characters from like, you know, modern sci fi planet and you end up on podunk nowhere town in fantasy land. And it's just funny because you like have a cool sword and they're like, whoa, that's a crazy sword you got there. How'd you make it so nice? And you're like, uh, <laughs> it just made me think of that. But also the first weapon I think you get in that game is a lead pipe. So, you know. Also, uh, I similar, similar. You'll like this. Similar to Amaro Ray, uh, the main character is good at what he's doing because he played a video game a lot and read the manual. Nice. <laughs> yes. So he knows how to fight. Truly. <laughs> because because the games in that universe are like uh, a Star Trek holodeck that you play in. So he knows how to fight from mm. playing the video game. <laughs> so, OK, I, I got to talk about this uh, because you brought up Amuro Ray and it is kind of related to Lancer. And it actually does lead into a separate point that I have um, that actually leads kind of back to the skill thing being uh -huh. the 55, 45, whatever, uh -huh. is that the game says that Lancers are basically spec ops. They specifically say you are not infantry. You are hyper specialized armored cavalry. Yeah. Cavalry being more specialized units. Yeah. The fact that you're at, at the lowest level failing potentially 45% of the time, kind of goofy game. I'm just saying. I I, but, I I did I did pick up on that when I was reading through and felt a little confused about that. Yeah, there's there's some ludo narrative disco biscuits going on about that. Yep. Um so on to talking about best boy and but not best voice actor boy Amaro Ray um, <laughs> oh, because his voice actor whoo baby don't do him like that uh, uh did you hear all the shit his voice actor got into oh oh I thought I thought you meant like his voice acting quality what is his voice actor got into something what do you mean got into oh baby um so gotten into an affair with random woman um you know uh random woman got pregnant he uh all but forced her to take care of the situation uh and this did a you know got physical a lot of it's crazy and is now going to court for it and yeah uh, one of the most popular voice actors of all time just wrapped up in this fucking eightfold conspiracy of nonsense did he hit her with i am this not dude's the father. career's fucked huh i said did he hit her with i am not the father no, he just hit her straight up. Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't. Oh, OK, <laughs> all right. OK, all right. Yeah, it, it's bad. Yeah, it, 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 he went full gaslight gate, girl, gatekeep girl boss about it. It's bad. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Damn. All righty. Well, it could have been worse. I mean, no, that's OK. That's I shouldn't say that it could have been worse is the like could have been, you know, arrested for doing terrible, terrible things that I will not mention on podcast, but yeah. it's very bad still. Um, all of that to say to an earlier point is I uh -huh. I kind of laugh because I watched Gundam Seed as everyone I, I've probably told at this point that like listen to this regularly, who's our friends. The main character of Gundam Seed, they try to make you like, oh, he's just like Amuro Ray. He's just kind of figured it out. No, the fuck he didn't. No, he didn't. His college had mobile suit piloting classes of which he is an <laughs> ace, according to everybody. And he's a master level programmer somehow. And he gets into his Gundam and goes, this operating system is dog shit. Hold on, I'm going to rewrite it real quick. And he does. He rewrites the entire Gundam OS in like a minute, like straight 60 seconds, and then gets up and pilots it like an ace. He is not similar to Amuro Ray at all. <laughs> Kira is way better of a character than I gave him credit for about a month ago, but don't tell me he's not got some Mary Sue bullshit going on where he literally cracks knuckles and goes, I'm just going to rewrite it real quick. He's taking fire from other mobile suits as he's doing this. I mean, he did get gaslit gatekeep girl boss against himself, though. That was a thing. That, 
know, he uh, he did he he, he fell did do it. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just I don't know. I they they really kept trying to pose Kira as the underdark, uh, the underdark, the underdog at the beginning of the story, when he just clearly isn't. He's literally a superhuman in every meaning of the word, including having weird gene therapy. He's not an underdog. He's literally the coolest, most special boy. Shut up. <laughs> he did bang crazy. So. He did, dude. I'm not going to lie. Bang crazy. Flay got a weird redemption arc in the last couple what? episodes, and I knew she was going to die. I, yes. I, be, so she gaslit herself. <laughs> she gaslit herself into actually loving him in the end. It's insane. And the dude who she definitely cucked was like, you fucking gaslit yourself, didn't you? You actually care about him now, don't you? I don't even blame you. He's a great guy. I kind of love him, too. But you really fell for your own con. What the fuck is wrong with <laughs> is, you? Is this Are some, you crazy? Is this, like, is this some liquid snake? I hypnotized myself to think my arm was controlling me type shit. Like what? No, it's just everything went wrong for her. Like her dad died. She slept with Kira. Kira was presumed dead. One of her friends actually died. There's an enemy aboard the ship and her mental state just degraded so hard to some sort of uh, some part of her inner logic system looped back and was like, I do actually love Kira after all. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then she dies. And I'm not going to lie. I laughed really hard. I felt bad because I did like her at this point. Uh, the main bad guy has a mobile suit with with funnels on it, right? And he shoots at her, her like escape pod with the beam rifle and the main Gundam man in the nick of time manages to block it with its shield and like the, the fucking triumphant music plays. And then it cuts to a funnel that just snuck around the back and then shoots the pod and blows it up. Oh. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> I literally oh. stopped and was like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Damn, she got hit with the plea maneuver. Yeah, yeah, straight Zelgius, mm, an interesting maneuver, <laughs> like, and oh. just fucking clowned her. It, dude, it was gr it was it was kind of glorious. I'm not gonna lie. Was it? Why were you bringing up Amaro and Gundam? Oh, you brought up Amaro. I, 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 why? Why were you bringing up Gundam? You well, said, you brought up Star Ocean, and then I know, pulled but the you Amaro said, Ray. You said that you said it was gonna relate back somehow, though. Oh, oh, it was just the fact that like read the uh, characters are supposed to be super cool at the beginning and then aren't. And Kira is not that. I just had to laugh yeah. about that. He's he's just super cool from the start, except for his fashion sense, which is terrible and his really dumb haircut. Yeah, uh, I mean, where am I in my notes? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I mean, yeah, the the.